We had to buy a new telly last week. Well, I say had to. <laughs> we didn't. We had some Christmas money put aside. Our telly's getting old. It's got none of those smart apps on it. And the thing is, we don't watch much terrestrial these days. So, you know, we thought we'd treat ourselves. I did a bit of research beforehand. I hate buying blind. I like to go in with an idea. Mark likes to be impressed. There and then. I keep telling him that's how you become a victim of commerce. That's how marketing wants you to behave. I'm probably not perfect, but I like to think I'm at least one step ahead. That's not elitist, is it? And if it is, well, you're elitist for judging me, so, yeah. I tell you what, though, even researching what kind of thing you're after is a political minefield. I felt like I was studying historical journalism again. What's the bias on this article? Have they been sponsored by Samsung? Oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have said Samsung. I haven't been sponsored by Samsung. We went for a Samsung, though. In the end. But you get my meaning, don't you? Does the article want me to buy this TV? Does it want me to buy the competitor? I end up with a stress headache and then I forever for associate that with Samsung. <laughs> yeah. We still got one though. I think that's what I'm trying to say, though. There's theory and practice, isn't there? And that's what it was like with TVs. We get to the shop and there's the one that won all the awards. And I've read a bit about it. And it does seem like a good TV. We're there in the shop having a little play, using the remote and whatever. And it just seems a little off. It doesn't seem user-friendly. Everything was doing a function or a service. And it wasn't... Well, you come home to a TV, don't you? I don't need you to make pasta for me. And Mark huffed at it. I suppose that was the biggest problem. I could have got used to it, really. If it makes Mark huff, then it's a no-go. Although he did that when he first saw Lydia. And now she's his little princess, even when she blows all our savings on Freshers' Week. <laughs> but theory and practice. Like, well, this wall here, look at it, solid, solid, right? So what's the last thing I'm going to do? Punch it? Right? I'm not going to punch it. I can see it's solid, reinforced, strong. I can even feel it, like in case my eyes are deceiving me. But I've met enough walls not to have to touch it. But I will, anyway. Just to prove to you that...
solid. And my hands, these hands, well, they might not be dainty or precious. My skin gets sensitive if I use too much fairy liquid. Oh shit, not sponsored. But you get the point. My hand is fragile and delicate in comparison to the wall. Like the skin can heal and bone can mend, but again, I've experienced enough pain to know I don't want to cause any myself. So with my theory of the wall being solid and my hand being delicate, I'm pretty sound of mind that I'm not going to punch it. You were with me two minutes ago, weren't you? Before I explained? Over explained. I, uh, I do that. Sorry. But to be clear, I am not going to punch the wall. In theory. However, when Mark turns round in the shop, huffs, and tells me that the top-rated TV, the one that won all the awards, the one that's different because it's innovative, when he says it's not for us, I nearly punched the sodding wall. Theory and practice. So we go for the Samsung. Mark thinks it's gorgeous. I'm sure he said that about me once. But I might have dreamt it. And to be fair, it had pretty good reviews. Four stars out of five, over 1,200 reviews at Argos. And that was only because an army of pensioners complained that it didn't have a DVD tray. Who even watches DVDs anymore? We got rid. I got rid of ours a while ago now. It's still a sore subject. But we don't need a DVD tray. So that fifth star that's missing from the review, what do you do? Ignore it? We bought the TV.